The thought experiment for the whole story is the unconditional love a parent feels for the child. And how far can you take the story to demonstrate what that means? It is not just about the beautiful parts of love. It's also about the dark side. It's about how everything wonderful and everything bad ultimately can start with love. Set and action. Here we are at the end, and we go all the way to the very, very beginning of Ellie, which is her mother, Anna, played by Ashley Johnson, who is the true beginning of Ellie because Ashley played Ellie in the game. And Ashley is spectacular here. It sort of brings the story around to meeting Ellie for the first time and how she was first brought into this world. And there was a special level of it for me to play the mother of this character that I care so deeply about. It was the first time I've ever had to do a giving birth scene. And it was an incredible day. You're dealing with real babies, which that is usually hard, but they connected so well. And it shows how strong Ellie is of where she came from and what she had to go through and that even her mother had such a fight to live. By this point, watching the series, if you've played the game, you have a new Ellie in your mind. And I need to understand why she is immune, but I also need to understand how much she was loved. And there's this genetic connecting between the two Ellies that we know. And this moment connects them together. Anna and Marlene have gone through this whole journey of this pandemic together and finally realize that connection when Marlene walks into the room and sees Anna in the state that she's in. I don't know if I can talk about this scene without crying. They're fictional characters, but I, I do think that a wonderful gift of the series is seeing these two best friends' final words to each other in those last moments of Anna's last breaths. Her name is Ellie. We know what that is when we cannot save the people that we love. To feel powerless. And Marlene certainly does in that moment because Ellie is the child of her best friend since childhood, who she had to execute. It's something that Neil told me about early on and it made my jaw drop and I said, we must do that. And that's how we begin our final episode. There's this moment and we really just follow the game here very closely because it's so beautiful where they encounter a giraffe. It's a joyful moment for Ellie and for Joel seeing Ellie finally be a glimmer of who she used to be after the trauma that she faced. Everything that she experienced hasn't just gone away. It's just this moment of beauty. So precious, it's almost sad. But then through speaking to Craig, I realized it was just living the truth of it, which was, it was bittersweet, but still so, so beautiful. So fucking cool. There's just a moment of awe and wonder in this world still. And the beauty of it is such that we understand why the ice melts between them. He's still trying to keep her with him and saying, we don't have to keep going. Let me just take you back with me. And she's saying, no, we have to go out and finish it. We finish what we started. I get emotional just thinking about it because it's their closest moment where Joel finally tells her the true story about how he got his scar. And it was not because some guy shot at him, it's because he tried to kill himself and he missed, but he's, Glad he did. And she thinks she understands the lesson here, which is you'll get over this. He lost a daughter. He was crushed. He wanted to end his own life. He didn't. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. in the hospital, Marlene quickly realizes this is not the Joel she knew because he has an emotional connection to Ellie. You take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! 
It's about the way we treasure the people that we love more than everyone else. How love leads to emotions that can rage out of control. We've seen Joel kill. We've seen him lose loved ones. So how do you take that any further? What if it's between saving all of humanity or this one girl? It's the easiest choice he's ever made in his life. What would make one choose one thing over the survival of humanity, essentially? Which is something that he does because he finds himself incapable of losing again. I won't let you take her. Come hook her. Move! Turn around. We can't keep her safe forever. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill. The parking garage is the last shot. It's the last opportunity to save what Ellie can gift the world. Joel, he is wrestling with his grief and he can't see past it. There's no limit to how much we could try to understand that, how much we could defend it or judge it. And it's this beautiful shadow that one can explore and question, find the horror and the humanity of. This whole journey we've been working towards, this trust that is forming between these two characters and how honest they are with each other and how much they learn to rely on each other. And then Joel puts all of that on the line. Like a parent, you feel like you need to lie to your children to protect them. And that's what Joel does at the very end. She knows deep down that he's not telling the truth, but she can't let herself believe it because it's too painful and it's too scary, the idea that her only purpose in life hasn't been fulfilled that that had been taken away from her by the person that she loves and trusts the most. It's too overwhelming. So she forces herself to believe Joel. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Time doesn't really heal anything. It just makes it fade. But people heal things. And in that moment, you understand the depth of what she means to him. And the horror of it all is that that's why the ending has to be the way it is. The ending is something that people have been arguing about for over a decade. Should Joel have done what he did? And a lot of people will say no, and a lot of people will say yes. In the end, the only thing we can be sure of is that we understand why he did it, and we understand that Ellie would not have wanted him to do it. That complexity is why The Last of Us as a narrative is so gorgeous. It's why it's the most beautiful story told in the entire genre of video games. It's why Neil is a genius, and it's why I wanted to make the show in the first place.